Welcome back, statistics students. We are still inside of chapter five. We are on to example number four. Okay, and here we have, uh, it says draw a normal curve and locate mu and sigma where it is in, in parentheses 100 comma 15. Of course, you should know at this point that this is not some kind of like ordered pair. Okay, this is mu, this is sigma which means here we draw a normal curve, right? We do our best. It doesn't have to be super pretty. We know right down the middle is mu, right? Which it says is 100, so we can put 100 here, okay? And then it says that sigma, now we do our best here to draw this curve, and right where it kind of like gets really steep, that is our Sigma right here, right? That's 15, okay? Which means that this would be at 115. Okay. So notice that it does say to locate them, okay? So I do have to draw this little uh, curve thing in here. And then this one over here, now it should be equal distant from the middle. Of course, it's just a hand drawing, so it's not super crazy. And then this is 85. And there we've located that, okay? So that shouldn't be too bad. And we move on down here. It says estimate uh, sigma given the following curve. Great. So clearly 50 right down here is mu. All right. 50 is this mu. And now the next thing is like this is not a mathematical way to prove this one. Um, but when you're going like on this curve, you're just estimating. It does say to estimate. We know that those could be a little bit off here. Where would you like feel like that pit in your stomach if this was a roller coaster? Like usually you start here and then right when you start to bottom out, right? You start to hit the bottom, that's when your stomach drops back down. So you feel that. Where would that be at? Well, I think it would be somewhere like right here. Okay. Probably like that 55 area. Okay. You're and then over here it should be the same. And I think it is. I think it'd be right about the 45. Now, that does not mean that it's at 45. Okay, that does not mean that it's at 45. In fact, instead, what is the distance from here to here? Well, it's 5, right? And it should be the same over here. It's 5. So we're estimating sigma to be equal to 5 units. You know, whatever we're actually measuring. This is a generic example, so we don't have a lot to go off of. Okay. So that's it. That is example number 4. Tune in. We're going to be starting in on example number five next video.